welcome to our video on this is our this is our first video on networking very number one <laughs> number one and uh i'm sean and i'm mario and i'm glad to be here with you man yeah this is uh this is a new thing it's fun we'll see how it works i guess our goal in this video uh is just to open it up and explain why we're making this playlist and some of the goals we have for everybody yeah maybe a general overview of of the concept of networking itself and and I mean, what you said is, is true. Where really our aim in making these videos is to try and get people to know, you know, what is networking? What, what is this, this internet network you have in your house? And, and why does it work? I want people to not just be able to plug in their computers and get internet. I want them to understand what's going on behind the scenes. So, so why don't you tell us, uh, I mean, what is a network? So networking, networking is, is information exchange. It's, it's the exchange of information between, between, between different users of that information. And uh, uh, you were, I think, I think earlier you were mentioning something about social networks. A social network is an example of a network. It's right in the name, network. Uh, <laughs> social network is a group of people and their information is flowing back and forth between them. Uh, you know, if you think of some of the bigger social networks, you're you're just using this stuff to I'm losing it. Um, well, no, I like what you're saying because social network on every end of the network is a person. Yeah, they're they're the they're the the computers, <laughs> and um, and the social network that you log on to is is the network infrastructure. It's the it's the routers and the switches and the wires that connects. The information users and the information uh, originators together. Do you include people in your calculations of the network? You know, when uh, I'm thinking about networks in a professional sense in my job, we don't usually include people. I might design a network where data is moving from maybe some sensors. The sensors go through the network to a server. The server then takes all that information, combines it, takes that information, sends it to another server, which then sends it to another server where now you're going to have people involved and they're going to look at that actual data. But there was a number of computers that actually took in the data, changed the data, and made new information from the old information. There was no people involved at all. Let me try to rephrase what you what we said so far. You said that uh, a network is basically an information exchange uh, between uh, like computers or devices sure. and of course, there are other networks like social networks, and maybe that'll be a good analogy for us in this in this video series to go back to those kind of things. Yeah. But we we're going to really focus um, on the computers and the ways that, that they are connected. How how are they connected? Well, computers uh, computers are of course connected with wires, but they're not always connected with wires. Sometimes uh, computers are connected with uh, radio waves, which take the form of wires. You've been working for this stuff with this stuff for a long time, Mario, and uh, I don't really know. I guess I, I think of computer networks in my house, maybe like to a printer and my computer, but is 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 there more to it? Well, if you really want to think about it, everything that connects to a network is a computer. So your your printer, your printer is a computer. Your your smartphone is it's actually it's a it's a it's a smart computer with a phone attached to it. Your router. Your wireless router, all of those are just computers that have specialized tasks built into them. Your laptop is, of course, a computer. Oh, there's things that I take for granted that are I'm seeing every day, but they're like really a part of a network. Well, definitely. There, there are a lot of different uh, networks. There are networks everywhere. <laughs> on your way to school, on your way to work, on your way to, 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 to dinner, you're, you're passing through networks and, and all sorts of different setups. For instance, just outside of my office, they just recently redid all the traffic lights. And while they were installing it, I got a chance to talk to the people installing it. And they told me that every single light is connected via a wireless network to each other. All the lights connect to each other and they connect to the main office. And these lights can talk to each other. And in addition to car sensors in the road, they can determine where, the, where there are cars and they can change their timing to move people through the intersections faster or slower, depending on all sorts of different variables. Where is that? What road? This is at uh, Walt Whitman Road in Melville. That's great. Um, I mean, obviously, there. You, you and I could talk for twenty minutes. 
Um, a million minutes. <laughs> well, we, we, 20 minutes, yeah. A very specific time frame. We could talk forever about just examples. But, but our goal, you our, said it at the beginning. Yeah, Let's our, say it again. Our goal, what is our, it? goal, our, goal. our goal is to teach people not how to set up a network, which would be nice. I, I'd like you to set up a network, but I also want you to know what is going on behind the scenes of that network. That actually leads me, yeah. Okay. Where do we start, Mario? Where, where, what's, what, what's coming next? What's our, our first video going to be about? Oh, our first video is about the, uh, the way computers talk to each other. Computers plug in together. They plug into a switch. They plug into routers. We all know that. But, but besides electrical impulses on a cable, what's actually happening? These computers are talking to each other. And just like you and I, we can't talk unless we know the same language. Computers need to know the same language also. And... Uh, We've decided, basically arbitrarily over the over the years, that the language that computers use to talk to each other is called IP. And what does that stand for? It stands for Internet Protocol. Now, that's an old term. The reason they call it Internet was because the original Internet, as they designed it, was a method to connect different smaller networks together. So IP was used to, to Internet. <laughs> Nets. Uh, nets, exactly. <laughs> if you had two small networks, how do you communicate between the two small networks? And you're saying the internet today has gone way beyond that. I'm saying the internet started, that's the building block. And so that's the language we started with. But now, even on the inside of that network, we're using internet protocol. We're using IP everywhere from the very edge all the way to the server. You're saying up next is the common language that all computers share. IP. We're going to talk about what it is, deciphering those numbers, the 255, 255, and we're going to see uh, if we can maybe demystify this stuff a little bit.